lovelies, it's me, Rebecca Rogers. We're going to answer all of my frequently asked questions that I get all the time across all my platforms. Before we get started, make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos I put out every single week. First question, do my students know about my social media platforms? So if you took the time to look at the little introduction to my page video that I have, I explained that I actually made my social media platforms as a way to make my kiddos laugh during online learning. They made my social media handle our Rogers World. They are constantly trolling me in my comment section, constantly trolling my live videos. They're everywhere. They are well aware of my social media platforms. Even after they leave my class, they never actually leave. <laughs> so yeah. Are Connor and Kyle based off of real people? Connor, Kyle, Jessica, everyone in my skits are characters that were created. People from around the world send me real stories every single day. So what happens is I read the stories and I have to figure out which character fits the situation at hand. Each of my characters have their own personality. So as I read each story, I just figure out which characters are needed in the skit. So long story short, Connor and Kyle are characters that represent silly students all around the world. What are the stretchy things you always play with? These are fidget toys. I get all of my fidget toys from Fidget Toys Plus. I will definitely put a link in the description. And my favorite fidget is a dough ball. I have so many different colors of these. These are my favorite. Fidget toys definitely help kids with ADHD, like me, focus a little bit better in class. Now, if you're trying to get some for school, I definitely recommend the silent ones so you don't distract anybody. But if you're trying to get some for at home, you can definitely get some louder ones. Just don't annoy your mom. How long have I taught for and what do I teach? I started teaching in 2018. I don't know when you're seeing this video, it just seems like start date is the best way to go. And I'm certified to teach high school social studies. So what that means is that I can teach 14 to 18 year olds in all of the social sciences. That includes psychology, sociology, economics, civics, history classes, things like that. Now, I have mostly taught world history and American history. I've also taught world religions and civics and economics, but my favorite thing to teach is freshman world history. What is my favorite color? Teal! My house has teal accent colors in it. My bridesmaids all wore teal in their dresses. It's my favorite color. Where do I work? I probably get this question more than anything else, so I'm just gonna be straight up. Stop asking creators this question. It is not safe. You as an individual might not have any ill intentions, but that doesn't mean some random who's also getting the information won't show up at a creator's job and stalk and harass them. Just like it's unsafe for you to plaster your address all over social media, it's the same for creators. And saying, oh, I know they work or live here, that's also really unsafe, don't do that. Stranger danger is a real thing. Be considerate of creator safety. Don't ask the question, and if you know the answer, don't comment it. Am I single? Nope, I'm not. I'm married to my absolute best friend, Avery Rogers. I also always get asked if he's a teacher too. No, he's not a teacher, he's an attorney. Also, whenever I say I'm married, I always get these next questions all in this order. First is always, do you have kids? We have cats. Two cats to be exact. Next one is always, when will you have kids? I don't know if we will. Why do you not want kids? I still don't understand why a further explanation is needed. It baffles me, but here we go. We like our life. We like doing what we wanna do whenever we wanna do it. We like the way that we live and neither of us are really interested in changing all of that just to have a child. There's just no desire to have any kids right now. And I know that friends, family, fans really want us to have one, but that wouldn't be fair to a kid to have a baby without us really wanting one, you know? So will we ever have kids? I don't know, but right now, definitely not. There's no, no interest. What is my favorite animal? Okay, there's kind of like two answers to this. In the wild animal category, I am absolutely in love with giraffes. One time Avery took me to this place where I could pet and feed giraffes and I cried happy tears. I am unashamed. It was a good day. Now domestic animals, we're going with cats. As I said before, we have two, Milo and Vixie, and when I say that these are the absolutely most important things in our lives, I'm not exaggerating in the slightest bit. Vixie has chosen Avery as her human, Milo has chosen me. This is how we like it. Sometimes I get asked if we plan on getting a dog or a third cat, and nope, we don't. Each of our cats have their own human, and if we were to get a third animal, someone would be left out, and we don't want that. Our little family is exactly the way that we want it to be right now. We're very content. How tall am I? I am five foot exact, which is very short. My husband is 6'3", which is not short. He's a lot taller than me. 
what is your Harry Potter house? Yes, I am a Potterhead. Yes, I know that is very millennial of me, and I'm not sorry about it. I am 100% a Gryffindor. I feel like I exhibit a lot of Gryffindor energy, and all the other Potterheads after I say that are gonna be like, oh yeah, she definitely does, because I do. What advice do you have for future teachers? I plan on making a whole other questions video on like teacher things, but I'm gonna answer this one right now. And I'm also not gonna sugarcoat it. Make sure you love it. And if you don't, find something else. Education is really struggling right now. Teaching is really hard. And if you don't love it with your whole heart and soul, you're gonna get burnt out like that. If you don't absolutely love it, don't do it. And that is the best advice I can give to anyone who is thinking about or wants to go into education. It's not to be negative. It's to be honest and transparent and look out for those who might realize, oh, I don't know if I wanna do this. Cause again, teaching is hard. It's not all daisies and roses. I'm gonna make a separate video more on like FAQ questions about teaching. Cause I get a lot of questions about student teaching and the process of becoming a teacher and all of that stuff. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss that video or any other videos that I start to put out every single week. And I hope that I answered some of your big questions about me. Bye, my lovelies. Have a fabulous rest of your day.